In today's video, I'm opening up never before seen Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery boxes. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box opening. So first of all, we have a before seen Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. We have a chaos box. Then we have a mystery box OCG, which includes both TCG and OCG packs. One TCG pack, 15 OCG packs. As you can see, this is not much of a box. It's more like made out of paper. It's very interesting. And then finally, a different version of a limited holiday edition. So these two were sent to me by the one, the only, Dr. Chickens, the craziest man in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. He's done many things like open packs with snakes, open packs in the water, open packs in the, like buried in the sand. He's done a lot of crazy stuff like that. So go check him out if you guys wanna see some of the crazy stuff that he does. And uh, let's see what he sent us in these boxes. All right, so we are gonna start off with this first non-limited holiday edition one. So he sent me one of these earlier and then one like a little bit later. I realized I had both at the same time so i was like why not do them both in one video oh yeah by the way giveaway every single card in this video will be given away to one of you guys so ocg tcg chaos box uh dr chicken's mystery box all in the giveaway so make sure to like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know down below what you think about these mystery boxes i gotta uh, this thing's kind of sharp so i'm gonna cut you get scissors okay i'm gonna cut this open that should help okay yeah there we go because it's like made out of paper, so it's like, you know, paper cutty. You got to be careful. You don't want to get paper cutted. Let's see what kind of packs we have. So first of all, we have a Duelist Pack Zane. Okay, this is Korean. So I'm expecting a lot of Korean for the OCG. I suspect they will all be Korean, but who knows? Maybe we'll get some Japanese packs, which would be pretty amazing. I also forgot to mention, we also get some singles. We got 10 holographic OCG cards, 5 OCG Millennium and Parallel Rares, and then the TCG packs. So... Let's see what we can pull from the packs. All right, I'm guessing there... Oh, there's no pull tab. Probably because Korean. It's like, ah, eh, we're too cheap for that. <laughs> the Korean packs are... They're, they're, they're only like, you know, 50 cents each or whatever. They, they can't afford to, like, put a pull tab on there. All right, let's see what we get next. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Let's get a Cyber Dragon. We have... Power Bond. All right, very cool. Let's see which Mystery Box can have the most pulls between the Mystery Box OCG and then the holiday edition one we'll have a counter up on the screen and by the way that's hollows pulled from the actual booster packs of course what is this a vrains pack too this is something i've never seen okay that's cool vrains so it's newer because vrains i think is the most recent one besides like you know sevens and all that stuff let's see what we can get we got a scrap dog i don't know twin headed thunder dragon it's an interesting combo scrap wyvern nice super rare i don't know if that's guaranteed those but who knows if it's guaranteed, we're just gonna count it. All right, next pack up, OCG. Ooh, Light of Destruction. We could pull the Ghost Rare Honest, let's do it. Wait, can you pull Ghost Rares in Korean? I assume you can, but I feel like I've never seen one before. So, can you? I'm not really sure. I know you could pull ultis, that would be pretty cool. We have a, okay, that's, uh, these are the Arcana Force or whatever. We got Rainbow and then a Deck Lockdown. Deck Lockdown, a Deck Lockdown. What else can we get? Ooh, there's our TCG pack. Duelist Alliance. That's a sick one, actually. Unlimited edition, but hey, I'm taking that. That's actually pretty cool. These are pretty fun mystery boxes. I'm not going to lie. I think it might be the little weird pack trick where you go like that. We have the Yang Zing Unleashed. We got some English cards. Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. Satellite Knight Vega. Artifact Lancia. The Battle Guard Rage. Metaphys Arm Dragon. Shadal Hedgehog. UA Mighty Slugger and a Chaos Seed. I don't know if I did the pack trick right or not because, uh, yeah, we didn't pull anything. <laughs> okay, still a lot of packs left. Don't you worry, guys. We've got Cybernetic Revolution. We've got some good packs in here. I mean, they are Korean, so they're not like crazy valuable, but hey, that's what makes Korean so fun. The Korean packs, unlimited at least, are very easy to obtain and very fun to open. We have the Dragon's Mirror, the Steam Gyroid, and we've got a Fire Darts Regular Rare. So, so far we're at one foil and it might've been a guaranteed foil. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, check this out. Five Ds. So I don't really see the five Ds Korean as much. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we can get. This looks like it. I don't know. Is it older? Who knows? Korean booster pack. What will it be? We have some card that I don't know. I don't know all the uh, shining darkness that well. We have what looks like a some sort of stadium and a i don't remember any of these cards i'm not gonna lie i don't know shining darkness that well unfortunately Ferrani guardian now this one i know a little bit better because it is an old school set and speaking of old school not really actually but soon i will be at 200k subscribers and when we get there we're gonna have an amazing opening so hit that subscribe button we're also probably gonna be doing a live stream up to 200k opening some cool sets live so hopefully we can do that it'll be fun this trap dust shoot so if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button we have the locusts or something no wait this is the one you flip upside down 
you flip up and down. It's uh, why can't I remember what it's called? Something locus or something. We got metamorphosis. This is one of the best packs ever. It's dust, dust shoot and metamorphosis. Man with the widget, and we've got a mist a bird. I can't remember what he's called. I lost it, but I remember him. Wing Sage Falcos, maybe? I think that's it. Okay, Shadow of Infinity. So far, a lot of great packs and a lot of dud pulls. And here's another problem with Korean packs. It's 40 in a box, and you get the same ratios as the 24-pack boxes, so it's very hard. The Anteater Eating Ant, very nice. Very hard to pull, actually, good cards. we got Neo, Bubble Man, and then we've got an Adhesive Explosive. So that would be a negative toward the Mystery Box because, you know, you get a lot of packs, though, so it kind of makes up for it. Duelist Pack, Jaden, I don't know which one. There's, like, three of them. Probably one of the three, I would say. We have Burstinatrix. We've got that guy. We've got Transcendent Wings. Hero Signal. Ooh, Elemental Hero Thunder Giant is very nice. We're still looking, and so far, no luck. Invasion of Chaos, this is where we could uh, really go for some luck here. It'd be nice. Go for lucky right here. Give us something good. We have the uh, Chopman the Desperate Outlaw. We have that card. I can't remember what it's called. I probably could remember it if I really wanted to. Vivius Bugroth. We have the Chop, Grass Chopper or something like that. Enraged Battle Ox. Okay. So yet again, we have failed. Oh, but you know what we could do? Canyon Moth. We could pull up Canyon Moth right here. It could be insane. The one, the only. Ah! We did it! Our first good pull of the mystery box. The Pequeno Moth. That will be set aside. Very nice. We got the Soul Release. Trent. We got Little Swords on a Veil. And we've got a blue thing. I feel like it just has like one word on that one. I don't remember what it is though. All right, we got to be getting close. Okay, this is like Dark Revelation 3. Wait, have you ever noticed his feet before? Is that always there? I don't think I've ever noticed his feet on the back. Maybe it's in the crimp usually. It looks weird. He has like little elf elf shoes on that's okay i didn't really realize that the creator is an elf we have pole position we've got statue oh wait why is it right in the middle oh wait there's more cards in this one there's seven cards in that one okay we got mass dragon in there that's pretty cool extra pack volume three this one's probably a guaranteed foil so we probably will hit one out of here all right we have the problem is i have no idea with this one we've got ooh spell cat the i remember that guy from early dual links Okay, and no, apparently it is not guaranteed on that one either, unfortunately. Well, it looks like the uh, Holiday Mystery Box shouldn't have too much trouble actually beating this one. Chronicle Pack First Wave, that sounds pretty fun. There's some really cool Korean packs you can open up, and, you know, if you get a box, you actually might pull something. Oh, shiny, we've got a Magician of Faith, that's nice. They're all going to be like this, though. Mizuki, this doesn't count as hollows toward our score. We got a row of the Cree, and we've got a DD Warrior Lady. Those are all pretty nice. They've got a little bit of the Hobby League feel to them, which is pretty interesting. We have a Zexol pack as well. A good variety here in here, though, which is pretty nice. It's not all the same packs. Problem is, it's so hard to pull anything out of these Korean packs. We have okay, not much in there. Not much. Uh, what's the last? I think this might be the last one. World Premiere Pack 2020. This has to have guaranteed fools. In 2020, Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course it does. It has something. All right, we have. Goblin, Cap Shell, uh, nothing. It's not guaranteed foils. Wow, maybe that Scrap Wyvern wasn't guaranteed, so we actually have a real foil. All right, our last thing in here is the foils that we get. So we have, thank you for shopping with Dr. Chickens. Thank you very much, Dr. Chickens, for sending me this. We have, uh, okay, we've got Imperial Order. That's pretty cool. Is this all Korean? That's 20th anniversary. We've got a Grand Neos Korean. We've got a Ghost Bell Korean. That's nice. Summon Skull looks good. Sorcerer Dark Magic looks great. Book of Moon. Ooh, Ultimate Rare Korean. DDM. The, dif the Different Dimension Master, I think. Ex is like Expert Pack or something? Extra Pack? I don't know. We got some cool stuff in there. Honestly, some pretty good ones. So, so Gaia's of the Alternate Art. That's really nice. All right, that was pretty sick. Let's open up our Chaos Box real quick and see if we can get something cool out of here. This one, uh, I guess we can include this in the battle. It's at a severe disadvantage to see how many pulls it can get, but that last one had one foil. So, I, I mean, one non-guaranteed foil. Chaos will ensue when we pull a... Ooh, Dimension of Chaos. Speaking of chaos, let's go. Let's make some chaos with this ghost rare. You guys are about to be able to win when I pull something. We have the DD Necro Slime. Nice. Tempest. Gradle Impact. Kayubi. Rebirth. Wind Vulture. We've got Contract Change. The Assault Blackwing. Kunai the Drizzle. And... Gradle Alligator. Unfortunately, nothing in there. That's just how it's gone today. It has been not good. We have a... Spell Ruler 2017 reprint. Not them 25th anniversaries that came out recently. These are a little bit older. One, two, three, four. Swap those, I think. Maybe we have Performance of the Sword, Hamburglar Recipe, Igaboon, High Tide, Mechanical Snail, Sonic Bird, 
Liquid Beast. We got a UFO Turtle and Fairy's Hand Mirror. We are 0 for 2 to start on this one, but am I surprised? Not really, Matt. Oh, I was about to say Mash Blossom. Maximum Crisis is what I'm trying to say. Let's go. One, two, three. Ash Blossom Secret Rare. Let's do it. Onokuji. Kaiser Sea Snake. Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix. Firecracker. The Zodiac. Prologue. DD Ghost. Sylvan Princess Sprite. That's a super, so that means we did not get anything. It is a foil, but it's guaranteed, so it doesn't count. Two more packs. Uh, okay, so Mega Tin's gonna get a guaranteed foil, so it doesn't really, it's kind of, they're kind of at a huge disadvantage here. The foil thing doesn't really translate that well with these Mega Tin, because you get like four foils in these. Shuffle Reborn, Dark Doriato, Shuranui, Ferenganderp, Ignite Paladin, Toon, that's Toon Cyber Dragon, it's pretty good. Ignite Templar Ultra, we have Clear Wing Synchro Secret, that's a nice one. And then the number S39 Utopia Prime, and then the Trick Box. It's like Dwayne Wade's new show. Despot Jet. Okay, not bad. Honestly, a pretty good Mega, Mega 10 17 pack or 16 pack. Cybernetic Horizon. Now, you got to give us something above a super to count. So far, no foils in terms of non guaranteed. It's a little bit of a difficult task for a mystery box with 2017 and on packs, basically. Restoration Point Guard. Oh, Point Guard. We got Cupid. We got, oh, Super Rare. Okay. Didn't do the pack trick right. Guaranteed Super. Nothing crazy, but. We're gonna pull a foil in this next mystery box. Holiday mystery box, this is the best way I can show you guys. Come on, baby, this is it. This is where we turn it around. In this one, it's an OCG booster pack, 15. 10 holographic, same thing, basically, except I guess more holiday-like? I'm not sure what the difference is. First pack, we have a prismatic art collection. That sounds promising. That sounds like it's gonna have guaranteed foils, I think. <laughs> Let's see what it's gonna be. We have a, oh wait, no, it's just these again. Wait, did we get one of these last time? Ash Blossom, whoa, oh wait, that's a hollow. Wait. Oh, and then a Prismatic Secret Rare Levy in here. Okay, those are definitely guaranteed. So it's it's kind of a weird way we're, we're scoring these, but hey, that's a nice one with the Ash Blossom Super Rare. We'll take that. The reason I wanted to do foils is because I knew uh, we, it would be really hard to find prices on these. And that would be hard, but now the foil thing is making it weird too. But there is a lot of packs that don't guarantee foils in these, mostly actually. So I guess it'll work out. You know, you guys can make your own judgments about which were better. We got Phoenix Enforcer, cool. I just want to pull a foil out of one of these older Korean bags. And by older, I mean older reprints, because I know they were reprinted recently, so they're not actually old. We have Jesse Anderson. Okay, this would be the one we get a foil out of. Jesse Anderson. Something super lame, like Crystal Beast, Ruby Carbuncle, super rare. The Crystal Tree, our first foil. It looks nice, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty. I hate it, but it looks pretty. Oh my goodness. So now we have, uh, I guess, tied at one. Jesse Anderson, Crystal Beast. I mean, all you Crystal Beast fans can rejoice, but what a lame one to get our foil on. But I'm not gonna lie, that kind of hits. Have they, did they, was it? Kind of looks like an older card. Is that actually a reprint? I don't know, that card looks nice. I'm not gonna lie, it looks nice. So uh, I kind of really want another pull. Also, we Rooks and Specialed right into it, of course. Drill Warrior, nice for those Edison decks. We got a, a Double Cyclone, I think, and then 80 Changer. Still a lot of packs left to go. Ooh, Rarity Collection. This is nice. Rarity Collection, I like. I really like Rarity Collection. This could be cool. Come on, Rarity Collection. I mean, it's still Korean, so it's not that insane, but these are guaranteed supers, but if we pull higher than like an Ultra, I think it counts. Foolish Burial, we have a Side Frame Lord Omega. Oh, and an Ultra. So I think Ultras are minimum guaranteed, but still, Solemn Strike's a crazy one. Rarity Collection's awesome. I want to get my hands on a little bit more Rarity Collection. Just a fun thing to open. Chronicle Pack First Edition. So even if it's not Japanese, I, you could get the Korean version for a lot cheaper as well. So, you know, maybe we could get some more, our hands on some more of that. We got Doom Caliber Knight. We got Mirror Force. Fossil Dyna... Fossil Dyna... Fossil Dyna Patch Cephalo. There we go. I was like, what is it? Okay. Dimension Fissure. Or Fissure... Dimensional Fissure. There we go. That thing is... That's got the Hobby League texture. That's weird. Okay. Next up, Chronicle Pack Second Wave. I like these, the ones we don't get. It's kind of cool to open those up because it's like, I don't know what's going to be in here. Also, the white pack kind of looks dope. Okay. Plague Spreader. We pulled one of those the other day. Go check that video out. We have a Insector and we have a regular. I thought that was like a secret or something, but it wasn't. It's just regular parallel foil or whatever this is called. All right. We have a, ooh, our first edition Lightning Overdrive. Hey. Black Rose, anybody? One pack magic? One, two, three, four. I'll make it happen right here. That would be pretty wild. <laughs> that, that would be really wild. Guardian Sphinx, World Soul, AI Challenge You, Scrap Raptor, Boo Boo Game, Sun Avalon Daphne, 
and an ultra rare hey a foil we did it amazing attraction horror house we pull the foil guys that is sick okay i think that is one technically in terms of number of foils but hey let's pull something else duelist revolution effect valor ultimate rare can you pull that in here i don't know i mean you can in the english version but i don't know how it works in the korean let's see what we can get we have other cards the mole guy and then uh amazonas card okay amazonas village i think is what it's called rise of destiny ultimate rare come on give us an ultimate rare korean card that'd be fun It'd be fun give it to us we got the fox we've got uh creator incarnate we have that little that little guy the <laughs> not hita we have back to square one maybe and then a flint okay getting down to the last few packs here we have a cyber dark impact pretty cool got some gx action going on here Yu-Gi-Oh gx generation next here we go we have cyber ogre i think that guy that guy and a what is that guy's name can't remember their names oh it's so hard we got shadow of infinity now it's like i've seen them so many times but sometimes they just slip your mind we have sand guy he's like sand moth or something i don't know the goki pond maybe don't know that guy but he looks like he's that that wrestling show where the, the guy with the big lips back in the day it was on pbs or something we have DD Designator or DD Guide and then Karma Cut. Okay, DD Guide and Karma Cut. Very nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card, anyone? I saw somebody pulled like the ulti out of a Korean pack the other day. I think they sent me a DM. I think it was Korean. I think it was. I was like, ooh, the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card. All right, we have, let's see if we can pull it. Advanced Virtual Art, the Gorilla or something like that. I don't know. We have. Uh, not even a rare in there, man. One day, we're going to pull that Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm just saying. Pharaoh Servant, up next. Not a lot of foils pulled in this video, but it's still been really fun opening some Korean packs. We don't do this very often. We have... We once hunted for Blue Eyes out of Korean packs a long time ago. Infinite Dismissal. We got a rare, and then we got a Sword Hunter, of course, of course. We got two more packs. We've got the Labyrinth of Nightmare. The Nightmare Labyrinth. What will we pull? Will it be something scary? I don't know. We have a Lady Panther, I think. Uh, Biomage. Bait Doll. Dream Sprite. And a Jam Defender. I nailed that one. I knew all five. I think we have one more pack, which is Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then we have our, you know, foils that we get as well. So keep an eye out because you guys get all the foils that we, uh, or everything in here, really. We have the Hitosumi Giants. We have, and speaking of, I want to mention this before the end. First of all, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Second of all, do not reply to the comment scammers. I keep getting messages. People are getting scammed. People are falling for it. I'm trying to put a disclaimer in every video now, like at the beginning. So if you're looking at the screen, you'll know not to reply. But I keep having to say it. I don't want anybody to be scammed. So I'm going to keep saying it. He he taught, he know Thomas Soul. We have the Drilling Lizard and a Flower Wolf. Of course, it ends with a Flower Wolf. And our last few from the man, the myth, Dr chickens let's see what did he send us will it be epic will it be awesome we have a exodia very nice we have zork we have defusion we got treeborn uh oh ultimate rare we just pulled this guy what's his name what is his name uh neo something ultimate rare magma neos there we go nice and then opelosa that the magma neos is sick we have a ooh, red eyes darkness metal we have Ryza. A pretty good selection here out of these extra cards. I'm not going to lie. So even if we didn't pull anything, some pretty solid ones were gifted there in the mystery box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.